What are some tips and tricks, strategies, et cetera, that you've seen really capture builders' attention um, that you think other builders should pay, pay attention to? 100%. So um, I've done this myself because I, I do build. You should know this. You saw my stuff just. Um, so when let's, let's use a real life example for a project. So let's say we buy a house that we're going to build a duplex on. This house cost 600,000. We're going to call it with conventional financing. We're going to get a nice a mortgage and rent it out for the next few months until we figure out our stuff. Now that development permit and building permit is ready, we can get appraisals based on the subdivided value of the lot. Guess that what that will be. You pay 600. I guarantee you the subdivided value of the lot is going to be at least 350, 375. So what happened here? We just created equity of about 100 to 150,000 to help the builder when we transition to a construction mortgage. So if you don't get what's happening here right now is that we're going to a construction mortgage lender with a value of 700 or 750 or something that you paid 600 on because there is a legitimate value for a subdivided lot that people don't realize. And this is a fantastic trick and I'm giving away gold here. And this is how we help builders put less equity in a project to get it start and satisfy that minimum equity requirement you need for any construction project. 